Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru Fowen here, and welcome back for more of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Blind. In the last episode, we journeyed through the Sacred Grove again. We got to the area where we first got the Master Sword. We went through a door, and got here. To what appears to be the freaking Temple of Time. <laughs> I still don't know what the hell is going on with that, but in this episode, I believe we are going to go ahead and put the, uh, Master Sword into the pedestal, and see what happens. And it creates stairs. Well, I wonder what's up with that. <laughs> what the heck, Uke? What the hell are you doing? And whoa. Okay, there was a secret back there. All right. Let's go ahead and see what's up with that secret. No way. No way. A freaking dungeon? This quick? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I thought I would get a break, but no. The game really wants me to do dungeon after dungeon, apparently. Well, I wrote down a list of things that I could do when I do side quests. I guess we're going to do those now. Because I was going to save it for a time where we need coming to a dungeon, I can do side quests. But I guess <laughs> we're going to do them now. What the hell, man? Well, it's not a big deal. And since not much has changed in terms of what opened up for us after the last dungeon, I think this is the only episode we're going to be spending doing side quests. And then we'll do the dungeon next time. Because not much has opened up since then. So... Let's go ahead and just get right into this one episode of side quests. We're going to go ahead and start with the Snow Peak Top. Because we have a rematch to do. So let's just go ahead and go up here. And do that. Because I think it's kind of important. Maybe we get a heart piece. Maybe we get an optional item. Whichever, ha whichever we get, I don't even care. I mean, I would take a heart piece any day. Speaking of heart pieces, look how much hearts we have now. 14 hearts after that last dungeon, man. Which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and... What do you have to say, actually? You beat husband. Uh, you good. You race me, huh? Yeah, I would. Uh, uh, good. Race the house, huh? Oh, boy. I gotta race you. You don't really look much... Oh, God. You are very fast. Okay, I'm a. You can't cut me off! Get out of here! What do you think you're trying to do? Okay, so I'm assuming this is a harder race than with the husband. So I'm going to have to be careful not to screw up. Um, and actually, I think it'd be beneficial if we actually took the shortcut this time, too. Because that would be great. So let's just see if I can actually do that. That'd be cool. Right, let's just go ahead. You know, I'm actually going to try to jump on the top of these trees. I don't want to be- Oh, God! Oh, God, you are frick- What the heck? Okay, up here is where I want to be. Jump! There we go. Now I just have to stay on top. Stay on top, dude. Stay on top. Uh, no, I could have made it! I could have made it! Oh, what a darn shame. What a freaking shame. I, I could have made it. And it would have been glorious. Alright, attempt number two. Let's go ahead and try that again. Since it's our second attempt, I might as well show the second one. If I fail here, I will definitely cut to the like a montage of times that I do this. And I think that would be funny. Okay. So she is a lot quicker than the husband. She's like she zoomed past. But I wonder if her AI is rubber band AI or is it just programmed to go faster there? I don't know. It's probably rubber band AI because most racing games or segments in other games usually involve rubber band AI. But hey, I'm not a programmer. <laughs> I'm going to be a programmer because not a, well, not specifically a gaming programmer, but a programmer nonetheless is what I aim to do. Okay. So, oh god. Oh god. Alright, so this part just jump. Perfect. Alright, now that I know what I'm expecting, a very narrow path, I'm going to jump, there we go, no, nope, oh, just don't fall though, 
just don't even. Oh. What the hell? Why do I do that? Like, oh, I don't expect what's coming, and then I get scared and panic, and then screw myself. Well, that's a darn shame. All right, let's go for the next one, I suppose. Okay, here I go with the freaking shortcut. Damn it! I don't understand why I frick that up every single time. Oh, and it actually takes hearts out of me too, which is even more of a problem. Okay, so this time I'm gonna go take it. Oh, you take the shortcut too! Oh, that's off. What the heck? I didn't even mean to do that! Are you kidding me? It just... Oh, no! I, I'm already hating this. Okay. No! No! I don't get it! I don't understand! I screw up the same part every freaking time! Okay, there we go. There we go. Just don't mess this up now. Just don't mess this up now. Don't choke it. Don't. Don't choke it. Turn around. Are you kidding me? No! 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 Are you kidding? Why does it... Go faster, Link! Are you kidding me? Of course I lost. Are you freaking kidding me? I thought that was it too. Oh, god damn it. Oof. Okay. Alright, I'm here. I'm at this point. Just don't choke. Just don't choke. Just fall down nice and slow. Slow down here. You can speed up a little bit. Just come on. All right, I think we got it this time. And if not, I'll be sad. All right, thank you. Oh my gosh, that was awful. All right, so now we get a heart piece. My goodness, no tell husband. You come back and race anytime, huh? Oh, okay. Jeez. All right, now that that is done, let's go ahead and warp to Castle Town. Because I think it's time we turn in the bugs. Since we have two. I don't know if I need rupees for anything else in this game. I mean, we spent quite a bit. Well, what do we? What was our most big spending? We spent it on the priest. We spent it on the... We bought out the bridge. We helped fix the bridge. I don't know if we need money anymore. And I'm probably going to get yelled at so hard for turning in these bugs without getting anything out of it but I don't care because I want to turn in these bugs and I, j I probably get something really good for getting all of them so and if it's just rupees then I'm gonna be the most saddest of people but we'll see we shall see actually I think it would be better just as soon as I came in just go straight down and then follow that path that would have been there much much faster but what can you do right I'm assuming she's still open, right? I'm pretty sure she is. Yeah, cool. Alright, so this... You guys are going to probably yell at me so badly for turning in this without any money out of it. But, again, I don't really care. You have a lot of bugs. Well, I guess we're going to add two more to your collection. Yes, we did. Alright, let's go ahead and give you the snail. The male snail. And I'm going to read your text. Oh, oh, oh boy, who's your friend? You're a little male snail, aren't you, little cutie? Little snail, little snail, just once I'd like to take a bath in that <laughs> That's awful. Well, we got a purple ruby that's meaningless to me. And we need one more bug. The female snail. And that will be all of them. Yes, yes. All right. Hee <laughs> hee, and everyone has a partner. They all look so happy. You worked very hard. Your efforts will forever be passed down in the Insect Kingdom, Brave Knight. Please accept this declaration of honorable citizenship and the memento that goes along with it. You got the giant wall! It's a symbol of the distinguished citizen. It can hold up to a thousand rupees! If 
you ever feel like talking to the bugs again, you know where to go. Oh boy, we got the g freaking giant wallet. A thousand rupees, and I'm assuming there's going to be a point where I'm going to need a thousand rupees, man. Wow, that's a lot of rupees. Holy crap. <laughs> Well, that was pretty worth it. We got the giant wallet. A freaking giant. But still. A thousand rupees. Man. Oh, you know what? Can we do something in here? I don't know. I might as well check it out while I'm here. Oh, fine, Dad. Wait, you good, sir. The star game created with you in mind, good sir. It's a special arena that costs 15 rupees. Dare you try it? Sure! Many thanks, good sir. The game will begin once you enter the cage. May chance favor you. Hehehe. <laughs> good sir, are you at the ready? Then away we go! Huh? Uh... Oh god. Oh god, spikes! Oh god, spikes! Oh god, I can't even go into the ground. So, how can I do this? Because I, I can't really... Well, I'm going to die. This isn't going to work, man. Now I have to, like, get all of these or something? Yeah, there's no way. You know what? <laughs> there's no such thing as not able to do anything. We are going to try. And I might as well spend this time doing it if I can get up there, dude. Yeah, there's like no way in hell. Yeah, this is awful. I'm probably gonna die before I even manage to get to the damn end. Jeez. At least I'm trying. And that's all that matters. And I didn't get anything out of that one. Well, I got one. No, I can just go up here and do it, couldn't I? Oh my god. Oh, there's a lot of them to get here. There's a freaking lot, and there's no way I'm gonna get them all. If I did, that'd be the craziest thing. But, well, at least I spent my time knowing I can't do this. It gives me the option to, sure, but to be able to do it, it's just not gonna happen. Yeah, I might need another item from a later dungeon to do this, because I don't have anything that I can actually do this. Yeah, you can go you can go suck it, dude. I don't even care. You're a horrible person. <laughs> okay. There's one more thing I wanna do before I end this episode off. And that is someone said that in North Hyrule Field there's a cave with a rock block in the way. Use either bombs or the ball with chain to go there. And do something. So let's go ahead and I wish I had I had I wish I had an actual warp to North Hyrule Field instead of just going to Zoro's domain and going down there that way because that's just really dumb. They really need to put a warp there. So I guess with that being said, I'll meet you guys in North Hyrule Field. Okay, I am here in North Hyrule Field. I guess I'm looking for a cave, which is going to be easier said than done, considering. I don't know where I would find the damn cave here. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna have to check around the wall if that helps. Like, come on, how how e how di it's gonna be hard to find a freaking cave. And it can't be. That's not the rock. That's not even blocking anything, man. It's just a damn rock. And you would think spending my time here looking for those golden bugs has actually taught me something, right? When in reality, I, probably, I wasn't even looking for a cave to begin with, so that could be something that I took into that I didn't take into consideration here. I guess we're looking for a cave, but what would be an area to use it on? Actually, now that I'm looking, no, is that the same rock that I was just looking at? Oh God! Please don't push me! Please don't push me! I don't even want to go. Is it over here? This looks oddly suspicious to me. It looks oddly like a cave that I can blow up. Not sure though. But 
Why not benefit myself in trying, right? Okay, if I can even get to the damn freaking item. No? Is this where I can use the ball of change? This is probably not even a place to use this damn thing. Yeah, I'm, be I'm just being stupid. That's not even a place to... That's not even where it is at all. Huh. I guess I'm gonna go hunting around for this cave. Where the hell would it be? It's blocked by a rock? I don't even, I don't even know where that would even be. This kind of looks oddly suspicious. Just a little bit, doesn't it? Oh! Okay, it's right here. What do you know? It was right near where I came out of Zoro's Domain. I just went to look around, and here it is. You know, that's have to kill these stupid enemies to kind of get through it. But Ball of Chain? Yeah, break that cave, man. Holy cow, what the hell? Is it like, like a, one of those giant caves, or is it like a small cave with an item in it? Because I don't even know at that point. Okay, it's like... It's ice. This looks like a mini dungeon, if anything. Hmm. Oh, no. It's a block puzzle. It's a block puzzle. Oh, crap. I wouldn't even know how to do this, man. I wouldn't even know how to do it. Well, actually... <laughs> It kind of doesn't look that hard. But I could just be being really... I could just be dumb. But I think I have an idea of how to do it. I think I have an idea of how to do it. Doesn't mean I know how to do it. But I am going to try to follow the same formula as I did with the other dungeon. Yeah, like that, and then I'm gonna push the top one again. Yeah, this is just like that dungeon. Wow! I honestly didn't expect to get that, but I'm using the same trick I used in the first dun in the dungeon to push the button. And that opens this. Oh, there's more? Oh god, is this gonna be like another video or something? Jeez. Oh god, this might be more than one episode. Just split it up into two parts. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Depending on how long this video turns out to be. <laughs> I guess we're gonna do it, man. I guess we're gonna do that. Hmm. Now oh, here's a good question. How the hell am I gonna do this? Because I gotta push both the switches. Is this the only one left? Or is there another one after this? I don't even know. There's probably more. But we'll see. Alright, so doing this and I push the other one back is gonna um, push the first switch. That's on. So now I need to open the last one. Which is, pr which is gonna be a challenge a little bit. Hmm. We'll see. We will see. Okay, so let's try pushing this one down here. And then push this one back. And then. Huh. Maybe push this up? But then, how is that gonna help me? at all. <laughs> I don't know. Because <clears throat> I'm gonna have to... Hmm, I don't know. How am I gonna actually... How am I actually going to do this? <laughs> hmm. Let me see here. I know I already have this one done, but let me go ahead and try this something out really quick. If I can just get this one pushed, and then I can get the other one ready to go. Yeah, that, that's it. 
now that that one's done, I can go ahead and push this one up here. And then I can push this one this way. No, that's not going to do it. Oh, no, it, it totally is. I just have to... All right. All right. We'll push this one back. We'll push this one down. Kind of go in that whole freaking direction. And then I can push this one over here. Yeah, yeah, okay. This is, this is a no-brainer at this point. Then I can go ahead and push this one this way. Push it this way. And then push the other block towards that one block, and it'll push both of them. And there we go. Sweet. Now this one... Is this just like the first puzzle we did in the dungeon? I don't know. It probably isn't. And that's going to be a treasure chest right in the middle, which is probably a heart piece that I kind of want. The question is, how do I get it? How do I do this? All right, well, I'm going to follow... I'm going to try to follow the same formula. Okay. Then if I push... Hmm. How am I going to get all of them up there? Hmm. Actually, if I can keep that one block there... Hmm. Someone has an idea that I would like to try. Yeah, I do. But no, I'm just doing the exact same thing. Wait, no, I'm not. Hmm. Let me see something. If I push that one upwards... Like so... And then I can push this one over here. Hmm. I'm trying to think, because if I push this one upward, I ain't gonna I I wouldn't have an idea of how to get this last one up there too. There's gotta be a trick. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, but that doesn't... Oh, wait. No, it's the same formula from the last puzzle, dude. It really is. Holy jeez. Okay. I'm dumb. <laughs> well, not dumb, because I figured it out. It's the same formula. And that should do it. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. And that will give me... A heart piece, which means we will need two more to complete a heart container, which from the next dungeon will be the answer. Holy cow. Actually, this might be just one video. You'll know if it's a video or not. <laughs> You'll know. If it's a really, really long video, like a 25-minute video, then it's obviously one video. <laughs> but okay. I think we've done everything I wanted to do. So it's time to warp. To... The sacred grove, which is here, yes. And then we go through the door again to the Temple of Time. We save. And I say to tackle down the dungeon next time. And that is the agenda for the remainder of this video. <laughs> that just sounds dumb. But holy cow, though. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Pretty impressed by how well that was. But... If the game really wants me to do a dungeon that quickly, who am I to judge? I'm pretty excited though. The freaking Temple of Time. If is that the entire is that the dungeon? The Temple of Time is a dungeon? If that is Oh man. That would just be the coolest thing. It really freaking would. Oh man. But I'm pumped. I am pumped. Okay. Here we are. The Temple of Time once again. And, uh... Well, I, I, I'm just confused. So, still, about this. But, 
I guess that's going to end it for this episode, you guys. Next time on Twilight Princess Blind, we are going to go to the freaking... We're going to do a dungeon, guys. We're going to do a freaking dungeon. I hope this one is better than the Ice Dungeon. Even though I thought the... I think... I, even though I said that the Ice Dungeon is really, really cool, if this is the temple... I know this is the Temple of Time, but this has to be cool if it's the Temple of Time. It has to be cool, and I'm so excited. So, I can't wait for it. With that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you next time for more Twilight Princess Blind.